haven't seen many people who are like, I don't get Marilyn Monroe. I just, what is it? What are, I don't, what are people seeing her? I don't, I don't understand it. Um, and I'm just like, are you fucking blind? I mean, it, <laughs> 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 or, I mean, like, she does something so like you just look, you're, you're like, my God, I don't know what it is about her. She's like it's a, like a, like a light, you know, like a candle. Um, D.R. Haney is my name as a so-called serious writer, and I took it because I had done so many awful movies um, as a screenwriter and as an actor that um, I didn't want I, I didn't want people to um, you know Google me. Some kid on on uh, the Internet Movie Database um, said that I should um, die with a red hot poker up my ass. Um, the novel I wrote uh, is called Band for Life, and that, that novel was about punk rock. Um, and then I began to write pieces for an online magazine called The Nervous Breakdown. There was a piece um, that I wrote um, <clears throat> about being photographed by a, a pedophile um, when I was 10 years old, uh, nude, uh, photographed, you know. Uh, and the piece was called I Was a Child Porn Model. <laughs> I just touched the mic, sorry. That's all right. Anyway, if we can please just get going. Don't shoot me from below, please. You're, uh, I'm going to be shot from below. Yeah, okay. Um. Oh, I should explain that I'm not in the best of moods because I live next door to a very difficult person who just got home, and I can hear her hippo feet on the floor. I um, was a very alienated kid, you know, teenager. I was considered kind of odd, rather turbulent family. And um, I went to movies. I uh, moved to New York right out of high school and um, began to study acting. People used to think that I looked like James Dean. I would get stopped on the street. People would come up to me in stores and say, you look like James Dean. I had the looks to be a leading man, but I didn't really have the personality for it. I used to know Richard Gere in New York, though. I used to, you know, he knew me by sight. He, you know, he used to say hello to me and stuff. You've seen the photographs I take. I mean, I don't, I don't even like taking pictures of, I don't even like taking pictures of pretty pe people. It's really kind of actually really hard to take a good picture of a pretty person. You want to meet a rebel? Go to prisons. They're full of them. You know. Um, you know, I don't think rebels fare well in relationships. I don't think women are really attracted to rebels, to be perfectly blunt about it. Um, I think they're attracted to the rebel costume. Uh, I, I, I never really got uh, love on my terms, and I, 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 you know, it was everything in my life was always an all or nothing proposition. So, I, so if I couldn't have it on my terms, it was like, all right, I, I won't have it. It's terribly lonely, really, you know. I mean, I have uh, almost no one, you know, with whom to discuss anything. Um, and it turns out that all the education I acquired, it's like it has absolutely no function at all. I mean, uh, nobody cares. Nobody even knows. You you're like, you know, you, James Joyce, who? Is he in like a, like a TV show? Um, and it's like that in New York, too. I mean, it's not just an L.A. thing. I mean, the, the L.A. thing has caught on. I mean, the, you know, the Internet transports the California idiocy to the world. Everybody has it now. I don't, like, dude, I don't, like, know who lives next door to me. I just, like, know my friends online, and, like, we play, we, like, game and shit. It's, like, cool. Um, I was having panic attacks, so I didn't know at the time what panic attacks were. And the worst thing you can do when you have a panic attack is to, is to analyze it. Um, I mean, you just, you have to just sort of go through it. You know, some of them, you, you know, sometimes you, you, you feel like it would be better to die than to go through what you're going through. Are you trying to get things done before you uh, die? Are you I, I do things, as, I, I, it takes a long time for me to write. Uh, it takes me a long time to put things together. It's like being a diamond cutter. Uh, you know, I regard that these pieces I'm working on as like poems. You know, I, pay, I, I rewrite again and again and again and again as I'm moving along. I mean, I don't even know how many drafts I go through at this point, maybe, you know, hundreds, thousands. I, I, you know, I'm like a like a, a Buddhist monk in the Vietnam era. I could, I think, I could set myself on fire like down the street in the in the fucking parking lot for like uh, 
you know, uh, 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 that uh, drugstore, Walgreens, and I don't, I think people just like walk by like nothing happened. I mean, uh, you know, I'm completely marginalized, and uh, so I don't, I don't have any sense of my power at all. I feel like I lost, uh, you know, whatever uh, sexual power I had already, you know, uh, so that's gone. You know, I'm not too, I'm, you know, the romantic thing is just, it's also just, I, I, you know, if something like fell into my lap, I'd be, you know, I'd be, you know, I'd, I'd go for it. But I've been, I've really had my heart broken a lot. I've had my heart broken about as often by friends as I have in, in romantic relationships. Romantic love is, um, I think it's, uh, it, it's a kind of um, dressing up of biological fact. I think that uh, digital technology is, is decreasing our capacity for wonder. It's like, ah, uh, you know, like it's like the idea of, of Jack Kerouac. Like, how could that be exciting to anybody anymore? You know, I'm going to get behind a car and I'm just going to drive with the speed freak and we're just going to fucking talk about everything under the sun. Uh, there's uh, one moment, it's just a, a voiceover line in, in the thin red line that um, he said, it's all a lie, it's all a lie. They either want you dead or they want you in their lie. And I think that's true. I think people, if you... If you don't, people, if they will, they will kill you for your, your idea of reality. What could be better than to just sit, curl up in a blanket on a, on a cold winter night with a book that you really like, you know, and, um, and not have to answer anybody, not have to be interrupted? Snow was falling on my father's farm in Virginia, where I had returned for the holidays. It had been a while, living in Los Angeles, since I had seen snow. I went outside for a walk. Every surface was glazed with white, including the backs of silhouetted cattle. The road crossed a small creek, and the rippling sound caused me to pause. There was a stagnant pool in the creek, created by dead branches and snowflakes. As they struck the still water, instantly perished, like newborns slain on arrival. I wept. That's the story. <laughs> it was a really important memory to me for some reason. I just still remember like the, these hot tears like rolling down my face. You know, I can't. I don't know. I can't. I can't explain it. Was that okay? Was that an all right read? You didn't want to read anything else? Was that was yeah, that was that no good? I mean, I don't no, know. No, it was good. Was it all right? Did you want it? No, 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 no.